I am so proud. And to Mexico, as you saw there, we go to new developments in the case of the 43 missing students. Concerns are continuing to be raised. Officials have arrested several people linked to the disappearances. For more on the story, we go to our correspondent in Mexico, Clayton Kahn. Besides the ex-mayor of Iguala, Jose Luis Abarca, and his wife, Maria de Los Angeles Pineda, another person was arrested during simultaneous federal police operations implemented yesterday morning. In a news conference yesterday evening, Mexico's Attorney General Jesus Murillo Caram detailed the operation, stating that a woman named Naomi Berumen Rodriguez aided the couple, accused of being the intellectual authors behind the disappearance of the 43 Ayotzinapa students. Rodriguez reportedly hid the two in three different properties in the working class borough of Iztapalapa in Mexico City, in homes that appeared to be abandoned. Rodriguez is now being charged with concealing and aiding presumed criminals. Meanwhile, a 72-hour student strike and mass protests are expected throughout the country demanding the return alive of those 43 students. This is Clayton Khan reporting for Telesur here in Mexico City. Staying with the story, protesters in Mexico will march Wednesday from the presidential residence in Zocalo demanding justice for the 43 missing students. Some of the country's largest universities went on strike Wednesday for 72 hours as part of a global day of action for the students. Religious organizations have also conducted a day of fasting honoring the missing students.